What's going on, guys? We're about to watch episode 310 of Kintama. We're in the farewell Shinsengumi arc. Kondo and Katsura are in prison. Gintoki punched the fake Shogun. So I want to see what's going to happen next. What do we do about it? Okita met up with Kagura and Elizabeth and the, the Joey Rebels, and so we're going to be combining forces, and that'll be fun. So let's get into it in 3, 2, 1, play. Fellow prisoners. All right. Do it. Thank you to the person on Discord who uh, reminded me of the last encounter that Katsura and the Shogun had together when Katsura said, next time we meet, one of us will be dead and the other one will save this country. That's pretty incredible. So I'm not going to look at the OP. So Katsura, he has been involved in a prison breaks before. So I guess he thinks he can handle this. And I don't know if it's just him or if needs outside assistance, but he's like, yeah, I got this. I'm going to get you out of here. Got myself thrown in here on purpose. Get him. What about Matsudaira? Where's he? I wonder what I could be missing in the OP. Like, it's probably just, you know, all the characters that are involved fighting. But I guess, I guess there's, like, certain matchups that would get spoiled that would be surprising. Like Okita Kamui, you know? Or maybe there are surprise characters who show up, or characters who surprisingly switch sides. I don't know. I don't know what's in the OP that could spoil me, but I guess I'll find out later... Maybe somebody gets a weird scar, loses a limb. That's in the OP. Lost and found. And also Zuda. Oh, don't call it his end yet. He's still around. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Not even Kamui's punch did that to him. Maybe it was just the fact that he hadn't fully healed from that one yet, and then you got another one. It's fucking him up. <laughs> what, a, what an asshole. I wish he didn't lose his memories, just because I want him to know. I want him to know that he got punched in the face. I want him to feel that. But obviously, for them, it's better for him not to know. Donuts for everyone. Oh. Yare yare. I'm expecting good things from you, Nobume. Nice. Oh, hello. When she went by Mukuro, was it? Oh. 
Uh, okay. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> All right, there you go. Not many jokes in this arc, but there's one. That's right. We gotta put that shit aside for now. I didn't even pick up on that. You're right. <laughs> I was like, yeah, prison, you get free food. You get a place to sleep. I didn't even really think about the fact that he just said that a diner is a place to get free food. <laughs> I'm glad you called him out on that, because I missed it. <laughs> I was going to let that slide. <laughs> no, they won't. Yeah. What are you protecting in here? She was in danger. Now they're looking for him. And not paying much attention to their surroundings. Good disguise. It was risky, just walking right by him, but you pulled it off. Everything's being disbanded. Now you're fine. Not just gonna lay down and take it from these assholes. I should hope so. You're willing to honor that? His hatred and attempted murders of Hijikata all the time, but he wants to leave it up to him. Even though you're not Shinsengumi anymore, he's, he's still going to follow that and follow him. That's nice. Let's do it. You know you want to. That's exciting. Act now and there's no going back. Take the pill.
Hello. Did you know he would come here? We even saw a shot of the, the gender bent Shinsengumi. Yeah. Now that we know that. It's nice for them to have a genuine heart-to-heart. -heart. Maybe you can do both. And they can open the doors together. Gentoki had to make a choice alone. Reporting for duty, sir. Yeah, that's exactly what I expected to see. Very nice. Is that one guy here who was in the, the Nausicaa episode where he wanted to clean everything? I don't remember what he looked like. Is he amongst them? <laughs> oh, you remember that one guy? I don't rem There was like a... I don't remember. But there it was some kind of Chinsengumi guy one time where there was a joke about like him wanting something up his butt do you know what i'm talking about <laughs> this is like a random shinsengumi members who've showed up sometimes okay that was okita but here we go Again, I, I like the slow, atmospheric build-up. It's not usually something Gintama does. It goes through its arcs pretty quickly. It has good build-up, but this just feels a little different. Feels important, and it is. Hello. Oh, damn. Elizabeth. Sounds good to me. Great plan. This should be exciting. They are willing to risk it. You're probably right.
You do. Matadaira? Oh, you were over there the whole time? Looks weird without the sunglasses. Yeah, there you go. Okay, he's the one who said it. Okay, they both said it. Back when the Shogun became a Joey Rebel himself. <laughs> Oh, damn. How many of those pills do you have? Do you just have the one? It'd be suspicious if they both acted like they died. <laughs> and it's better for him to do it because he's older. So they'll believe it. Okay, well, <laughs> oh god, of course. <laughs> Immediately. I don't know why I expected anything else. <laughs> well, yeah, they don't know anything else. All they knew was take the pill. Oops. Oh my god. Why would you write? When did you write that? Oh dear. It got, it was so serious. It was so serious. And then, of course, if anybody can fuck up that bad, it's Katsura. And now he's just dead. You just killed him. <laughs> How did you, that rock could not fit through those, through those bars. <laughs> maybe, maybe through the center ones. <laughs> okay, gorilla, wow. Well, hopefully it still works out. How long, how long are you going to stay out, Katsura? How long does that <laughs> effect last? I'm not gorilla, I'm gorilla. What are you talking about? They call me Magilla Gorilla. Oh my god. He's down there playing dead and they're just like, okay, we'll just do it for real then. What the hell? Do they have orders to go in there and kill them? Hello. You have one eye now. Foreshadowing? Is somebody going to get their arm ripped off? Okay. It's crazy that he's still around. Came back last time, now he's here again. Whoa! Is this guy like Zelda? <laughs> yeah, he's, uh... They've been they've been tasked to come and kill you early, I guess. Save his ass. What are you going to do? Uh is the door still open? Okay, just throw a rock. Nice, nice. Okay, he woke up. How did he get up so fast? Oh, he 
it came, it came out, I guess. I don't know how that works. I don't think that really makes sense. But whatever. It's all good. We got the joke. And now we can go back to actually executing the plan. So it all works out. I mean, yeah, clearly, originally, they wanted to execute you in big public style as an example, but uh, these guys are like, nah, just got to snuff them out right now. Which is a smart move, because if you don't kill them, then this happens. Nice. That's a whole different faction involved now. That might make it all a little more difficult. Different people with different goals. Oh! Oh shit, no, I had no idea that's where they were. That was like one of the slowest episodes in Gintama. That might be like the slowest. Just all, it, it was all anticipation and build up and atmosphere. But it was good. I like that, that they're taking their time and treating it so seriously. And it's all building up to Hijikata and Kondo making their decisions, and even though we know what they're gonna choose, it's good to take your time with it and it's building to something that I'm pretty sure is going to be worth the build up and then it makes the joke with Katsura and the pill all the better because the episode had been slowly building and had been so serious and even though it's Katsura the guy that I can always depend on to be the dumbest I was so engrossed in the seriousness of the episode that I didn't think that was going to happen so yeah throw that pill over there he's going to get it there you go but then, <laughs> bouncing back, immediately falling down, and then hitting him on the head, just the sudden insertion of comedy just totally works. It doesn't break the serious tone at all, because it's Gintama. It just made it funnier, because I wasn't expecting it. You get those few jokes in there, I'm glad. I'm glad you can still take those few little moments to laugh, even when everything is so serious. But here we go, they're breaking out, they're on an island. Everybody's together. Don't want to look at the preview at all, I don't want to spoil any of the action, but uh, should be a should be a big showdown. Who knows what kind of betrayals and alliances may form, and you've got Obero back again, and they have their own ideas, so we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, see you next time.